everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Nicole and this is Plan with Nicole. I know that there has been an extended break here. I apologize for uh, not being around. I actually had an injury which limited my crafting time and planning had to be on the back burner, but I'm so excited to announce that I am back all week long with brand new videos. So please check them out if you're interested in all things planning. I absolutely love it. And I'm especially excited today. This is the Sunflowers products. Pink Fresh Studio actually released this early um, and it is going to go to the net profits, 100% of the net profits from the sale of any of these products go to Save the Children organization. Um, it helps with the children in the Ukraine. So if you love this, if you are a card maker, a crafter, a planner, and you want to pick up some of these products, it goes for a great cause. Um, I also want to tell you, we do not earn affiliate sales on the uh, if you purchase this, 100% of the profits go to this organization. I think it is phenomenal, and I highly encourage you to check it out if you're interested. So today, of course, I'm working on planning. Please stay tuned. I will be using these products on my card making channel as well. I like to attach my washi tape. You saw me attaching it there to some wax paper, then running it through my die cutting machine with the coordinating die to create my own stickers for planning. I'm using every sticker I die cut here, and I really struggled with coming up with my plan. However, the end result I absolutely love. So the wreath shape sunflower here is going to go in the upper left corner. This is my dashboard work week spread for the week of March 7th through the 13th, and I decorate this square. I decorate the border along the left side of the spread down there where the grid is. And then I also decorate the Monday through Sunday little rectangle box on the right side of the spread. So those are going to be the areas I'm concentrating on. I leave the rest of my spread pretty well open in order to fill that space with my daily tasks. This my my dashboard spreads tend to be really full of all the things. So I know I mentioned I struggled. I wanted to incorporate Disney and that just did not work. I tried so many things. These big idea stickers are actually from the Disney book. And while I liked them, when I flipped what I thought I would do with this spread, I ended up taking them off. So you're going to see that throughout. You're going to see me make a lot of changes with my spread, but I really feel like these are the kinds of things that hopefully help you in your own creative journey, seeing how the process comes to life. Sometimes it's super easy, sometimes it's not. So this sunflower set was one of my favorites when they asked me to participate. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit later in the month uh, for their blog hop when their entire release comes out. I was so thrilled. So I live in Kansas, which is the sunflower state. So I already love sunflowers. And apparently the sunflower is the flower for the Ukraine. So it really was kind of a perfect match here. Um, this butterfly sticker is actually from the washi tape shop. I ended up not using it on this spread, but I am going to use it later on for another spread later this week, this roll of stickers. But uh, it's what inspired me to remove those Disney book stickers and I'm going to kind of switch up my thought process for where we're going to go from here. I just decided Disney was not really working with this spread and so I'm switching up. Don't be afraid to kind of change your mind. It's totally okay and move away from your original idea. So what I think is going to work really nice is lots of sunflowers, lots of greenery, and lots of quotes, and butterflies. So we're going to grab the Papillion, the Happy Planner sticker book, and I am going to incorporate butterflies from this sticker book. I thought about using the stickers from the washi tape shop, but I ultimately decided on this sticker book just because of the colors and then the different size and scale of the stickers. Now Shine Your Light actually comes from the Papillion sticker book. I like it, but I don't love it. So yes, I do end up 
placing it on my spread. No, it's not in the final spread. I ha ended up removing it. And I will show you that here in a little bit. It just didn't quite work for me. I don't know. I was having one of those creative days where ultimately I kind of knew where I wanted to go with my spread, I guess, but getting there was so, so hard. Do you guys have days like that? Please drop me a comment and let me know because it was struggle bus the entire way. And I had literally just done a set of cards um, for my other channel that came together so perfectly. And I was like, I am on a creative roll. And then it was like screeching the brakes because no, I was not. I actually had to come back the next day and do this because nothing was working out at all. Um, I did pick up a new Uniball Signo white gel pen, which I'm using to white out any words or lines that I don't want to show through washi or clear stickers. And oh my goodness, you guys, new white pens are amazing. Why I always wait too long to get a new white pen, I will never know. Um, but it whited everything out perfectly. These to-do stickers are also from the Happy Planner Papillion sticker book. And I love them because I feel like the yellow and the gold text really complements the Pink Fresh Studio Sunflowers set perfectly. So ultimately right now, shine your light. Please just pretend that's already gone away. It will go away soon. I want to add some butterflies to my little scene. And then I am going to switch out my sentiment for something else. I can't remember how long it takes me to realize I want to switch that. I'm not loving it the whole time, but that's besides the point. And I'm going to put end up putting a small quote here and then a bigger quote down in the grid box below. And I ended up using another quote box up in the other side of the spread. I really like how it ended up turning out. I don't always use this many quotes, but you know, it just kind of worked this week. I really liked also in the Happy Planner sticker book that there are some butterflies that look like they're sitting on the flowers, which is what I just added. And then we're going to add um, another butterfly down here. So there's three butterflies in this box. Then there's going to be four um, down in the bottom grid box. And in the upper grid box on the right side of the spread, there's just going to be one. Ultimately, and this is so funny, I, I ended up loving all of the spread, but I maybe should have started or not started, moved on to another part of my spread and come back to this one. I was so convinced that I had to do this box first and it literally was the one that gave me the most trouble. The other two boxes were so easy to create. On, I think I'm gonna move to the right side of the spread here in a minute. Um, after I add my last little sticker, but I picked a sticker from the Align sticker book for both of my phrases. So I'm actually cutting apart a clear sticker and using finding joy in my journey. It also had like this black rainbow type thing, um, which was cute, but I just wanted the text. So I cut it apart and that's going to finish off that whole block. Then on the right side where I was starting to talk about, I'm whiting out the Monday through Sunday. This focus on where you are going, not where you currently are sticker from the Align sticker book, I thought would be so pretty kind of framed up with florals from the Pink Fresh Studio washi. And I was right. I think this is my favorite box on the spread. It is the simplest. I don't know, it just kind of came together. Um, and I really, really love it. Now, I know I've talked about this in previous dashboard spreads, but if you're new here, I'm gonna mention it again. Um, my right side of the spread is truly where I keep track of my daily tasks. So it's usually filled with a lot of text. I keep the decoration to a minimum. It's mostly function on this side of the spread. Now, I didn't love that you can see the black box through the sunflower. I don't want it completely to be on top of my sticker, but I don't want it, the sticker, the washi sticker to be completely on top of the box. Does that make sense? So I lifted it up and I'm going to tuck the box or the oval over part of the sunflower, but have part of the leaf and the little purple berries on top. And then when I place my other little piece on the right side of this, 
it is all going to be on top. And I like this a lot better. I feel like this just flows so much nicer. And I ended up, again, I really love how this turned out. And then I got some gunk from my hand on my spread, so I'm using an eraser to get rid of that. I don't even know what that was. Um, and then let's grab a little butterfly. I love this little yellow butterfly. We're just gonna white out part of the line so it's not a dark black line going through our butterfly. And that is looking so pretty. I'm loving this spread for the week. I'm super excited. Um, by the time this video comes out, I'm sure I will have already written in this, but and been working in it, and I'm really loving it. So I'm gonna use my last two big sunflower images on this box in the bottom. And then the leaves I end up using, and I'm gonna show you that, um, how I get more out of what I have. And this is something I do, whether it's washi stickers or happy planner stickers or other planner stickers. It's my favorite little tip for making them be a little bit more, uh, just to kind of get more out of them, I guess I should say. These stickers here, I totally can't remember. I believe they are, yes, they are from the Papillion sticker book. And I am using Dream Big and Let Your Dreams Blossom. The gold text, I don't always love the gold foil, but there is gold foil in these washi tape stickers. Our pink fresh washi tape, the pink fresh studio washi stickers. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, and so it really complements it nicely. I'm going to put the biggest one down here along the bottom right corner. The text is all shifted over a little bit more to the left side of the box. And I'm going to trim up the leaves and just have them peeking up from the edge of the box. So this is my first tip. Some of the leaves I'm letting hang over the edge, like from the big sunflower image over on the right side. But these I'm going to trim and have a straight edge along one side just to kind of help contain everything within the box. Then the sunflower that I'm going to place up along the top, I need that entire box to be functional. I don't really want my sunflower to overlap it quite this much. And by trimming this a straight edge along this image, it is going to give me another little piece that I can place along the edge of the box. I'm also going to trim a straight line on this leafier piece. I kind of had a hard time figuring out where I wanted that one to go, but ultimately I'm gonna shift it over, which you'll see here in a second. And that will, it just kind of makes it look like there's more than what there really is. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna snip off part of that. I'm still not loving it. I th feel like it needs to shift over. Just keep on moving. We'll move it here in a minute. Because I am going to take some scissors and trim a nice straight line along this image. Let's white out the words because our washi sticker is gonna go over the top of this and I don't want the words, the black text to show through. And again, I just want to reiterate that 100% of the sales, the net profits from the sale of any of these Pink Fresh Studio products for the Sunflower set go to Save the Children organization for the children of the Ukraine. I'm gonna place my sticker right here. Oh, I love it. And we're gonna let that leaf along the left side hang over the edge. I'm not actually going to trim that off. And you can see the other half of the sunflower I placed right next to it. It really just gives the illusion that there's more to that than there is. And then I added my leafy green branch. And then I have one more individual leaf from this set that I figured I might as well go ahead and use along the bottom edge because I am going to put butterflies then it to finish off my scene. So we're gonna have about three butterflies coming up from the large sunflower in the bottom right corner. And then we're gonna have one like landing on the large text in the word dream. Um, I struggled with my butterflies, figuring out the size, which ones I wanted to use. You guys, I it's been a little bit. I haven't been planning regularly and I haven't shared obviously regularly for a few weeks. And I think I was just out of practice. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but really loving the combination of stickers here. And I hope you guys love it too. Now, 
I talked about not wanting my sunflower to go up into that box, the to-do box right above it. I am going to have one butterfly kind of extending up above into the t other to-do box, which is totally okay. I just, usually my box over on the left has more to it. That's my quote unquote work. That's my card making channel videos I need to film during the week. Um, and so I just kind of felt like that would work better. There's my last little leaf. I feel like it's still too tall. I'm going to trim it down a little bit more. There we go. And I love the box. I think it turned out fantastic. There are a couple of stickers that go where the rings for the planner go. So I will need to take my punch out and re-punch the holes. I've trimmed off anything hanging off the edges of my spread. So any stickers that hung off the edge, I just took my scissors and trimmed that away. Here's that third sticker I'm adding. I just love the whole floral butterfly theme. I think it goes together really nicely. And then I'm going to my tried and true awesome sticker book. I know this one's out of print. I think there's one. I actually just got my Happy Planner order. Well, I've had it for a few days. And if you guys can believe it, I have not opened the box because I really want to film an unboxing for you. Um, but I think there's a sticker book I ordered in there that has something similar. So we'll talk about that during the unboxing, which I hope to film a little later today because it's killing me. I went all weekend, you guys, not opening it. That's amazing. <laughs> um, I am going to put my little bullets. I actually opted to only do my bullets on the left side of the spread, and then I'm going to grab my tried and true Happy Planner stencil, and I'm going to make the bullets for the right side of the spread. I just did not feel like adding that many stickers and decided to grab one of my favorite pens. I'm list I have those linked below, and I'm going to do my bullets like that. So thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel, click that thumbs up button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new planning video. And remember, 100% of the net profits from the sale of the sunflower stuff from Pink Fresh Studio goes to save the children. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.